Hey you guys, JB here from Alpha Wolf Consulting. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you today about was our Monia Admins SMS and email marketing options. So there, there's essentially two ways you can market um, through SMS and emails um, to do a combination of direct marketing and then our sort of branding or our long-term marketing campaigns where we do things like newsletters, blogs, and other things like that. Whereas what we're going to look at is we're going to look at one, how do we create those um, email marketing campaigns effectively? And then also, how do we do more direct marketing? So if we're day-to-day -day talking to people and we notice a trend between um, those those clients so maybe we're talking to people and and we're selling houses and we notice we're getting a lot of miners in there so maybe we want to go and create a email marketing campaign or a newsletter or a blog that's directed at them or maybe we want to do some more direct marketing to our lists um, so that's a really cool thing and that's what we're going to go through today so if we jump into the marketing tab in my new admin and jump over to the emails, what we're able to do, and this is for the broader sort of marketing campaigns and marketing strategies, and, and we'll, we'll go back to the niched out ones as well. So if we jump on here and we look at this one that I've just created, um, what we're able to do is we're able to create something that's easy, um, that that we can just basically try and get a bit of a response back from our consumers. Um, so something could be like this. Just a nice little easy email that basically just goes through and it just says, look, here's a couple of ways on how to effectively, you know, build or grow your business online using firstly social media, um, creating great offers that incentivize people to take action, building building a network of like-minded individuals, because we wanna we want to be able to have that sounding board of, you know, we don't want to be stuck in an echo chamber where everyone just says the same thing or just repeats what we say. We want to have that diversity to where we can have like-minded people who may see things slightly different to us. That gives us a competitive advantage because that's what it's all about. The, the singular mind is never as powerful as the collective because the collective can see things in multiple dimensions or multiple perspectives. And that's what we want to do when we're looking to build our business online is we want to we want to build an ecosystem where we can one hone our skills and to get new information or get exposed to new ideas so that we can develop because if we were to do it on our own it is a very long process whereas if we can get around people that do similar to what we do we're able to learn at a much faster rate and then finally, branding is key. So, so when we're growing and building our business online, we want to remember that there's branding, branding, branding. We're building the brand. That's what people click on. People aren't clicking on the offer. They click on the brand because they got to know, like, and trust you. If you've got the greatest offer and it sounds so amazing and no one knows who you are, generally what they'll do is they'll say it's a scam. No one will give you the time of day if they don't know who you are. So that's one of these crucial things in building an online brand. And what we're able to do with our email marketing is we're able to spread information at a very easy way. Because something like this may take you an hour to do up and you might have 50,000 people on your marketing list. So what you're able to do is in one hour, you're able to now contact 50,000 people. Now, with email marketing, there are some caveats. Like, for example, average open rates around 1%. You're hitting 1%, you're pretty good. Um, we, can, we can go through some strategies on how to increase that in email marketing. And one way to do it is to highly segment your database. So to understand who are your consumers, what, what are the different segments between them and what, what are their, I guess, their their values or, or their needs, their wants, and, and, and what, what, what transpires over to the broader database. So what we want to do is we want to look at highly personalized and broad marketing strategies because that's how we're able to pivot and that's how we're able to really, really get 
some great results, you know, around six to eight percent open rate. Um, so one one cool thing I did when I was in the property is I would notice that I'd be talking to a lot of miners. Um, so if I was talking out of 100 calls, say 20 of them were miners, well, we know that in a database of 60,000, potentially there's going to be 15 to 20,000 miners in there, just based on, on, on rough, rough statistics. So what I and the marketing guy did is we came up with a way to tell stories that that were highly segmented. So we told a story about how this young miner and his partner, you know, they didn't have the best credit, they they had great income, but they didn't have great spending ability or, or spending behaviors. And, and they weren't, you know, their debt wasn't quite right, their savings weren't quite right. But this is the process we bring them through to get them into their first home. And what happens is when someone's reading that and they're self-identifying with, yeah, I've got awesome income, but my spending habits aren't the best. I go to the pub every week. You know, my um, my saving habits aren't the best. Maybe I've got a little bit of credit card debt or a boat loan or a car loan or something like that. And they're able to say, well, if these people could do it and they were helped by first home agent shouldn't shouldn't I check out and see if I can do it so what you're getting them to do is you're getting them to self-identify that yes this is someone like me and yes I want to I want to know how one you did it for them and how you can do it for me so it's all we're looking for in our text and email marketing because we can't influence through through words we only influence through you know the words we say not the words we write but it's through tonality, it's through body language, it's through connection that we influence. So what we're looking to do with any campaign, text or email, is we're just looking to see, to get them to go and self-identify like, hey, I want to know more, or hey, give me a call. So we're just looking for fun, easy ways that we can basically make more offers, but that we can get people to um, basically show us, you know, they're, they're our target market now, or they're ready to move, or they're ready to have a conversation around it, because it really allows us to effectively then go back and call them, because we know they want to be called. So we're not just throwing mud at the wall and hoping something sticks. We've now identified the the target audience, and we've got a list to go back to. And we might only get one or two, but depending on your um, conversion rates, depending on your product pricing, depending on your commissions, one or two could be great. And if it's a smaller product with a, a smaller purchase price, maybe we're going to get up to 20 to 30 response, uh, 30 sales out of those responses. So there's many different things that will come into it. But what this is able to do is this is able to give you an easy way to mass email out. Uh, very general information or very easy to consume information, stuff that gives value um, but doesn't cost us a lot of time, energy or money to produce. Something that's easy so we can easily give a little bit of value back to our consumers and sort of create that relationship. When they see an email coming from you, they know it's not just a sales email. They know there's some value in it. They know they're going to get something out of it. And that's what we want to train so that when we send, you know, one in every five, we may send a sales email where we're giving them information directed at an outcome. Okay, so so that allows us to one, increase that open rate, but also increase the click-through rate. All righty, so jumping into now, let's say we're, we're in the calls and we want to do a highly segmented um, a highly segmented thing. So let's say we're, we're calling up new leads and we want to see who is um, going, going to be our new lead. So we jump in and we just go send through um, an SMS. And what the system will do is it'll pick up everyone that has got um, a, a contact number. If they don't have a contact number, it won't work. Um, but basically, we can just jump in here, write a quick message, and just say, like, hey, guys, I know that 
Now to easier, and we can and we can just do something like that, um, just something easy, something wide, like where we're just looking to say, like, hey, do you want to know a bit more about growing your business online? And they'll come back and they'll either say yes, no, or no response, and that's that's not a bad thing. We're not looking to get a hundred percent response. We're looking to get, you know, if we can get a ten percent response rate, that's pretty good, because we're spending maybe, you know, ten fifteen cents per text message. So if we've got let's say a hundred dollar commission on it, if we get twenty responses, we may have spent like two or three dollars to get them, but the profit out of them will be, you know, two to three thousand dollars. So that that that's the uh, um, ROI that we're looking at. Um, what we're able to do is we're able to um, schedule them for now, schedule them for later, schedule them on a drip mode so that when they're in a certain campaign or a certain workflow that, that every month or every six months or something like that, we're, we're just touching base with them. Um, so that's another way that we can do it. Um, what we can do as well is if we create lists, so if you've got different kinds of buyers or different kinds of products or different geolocations or anything like that, we're able to then have that data in there in tags so that we can easily identify them. And maybe we're targeting people in New South Wales. So what we can do is we can then geo, like geolocate our responses. So maybe we can put in a little bit about, maybe it's been raining in, in New South Wales, across the board for a couple of days. Hey, I know there's bad weather and maybe you haven't been able to get out there and talk to people. Do you want to know how to use online so that when it's raining, you're not downtime? You know, things like that. And then what we're able to do, and we can also add in here an action. So the description for the action is just for our internal recording or our internal tracking so that we know what activities have been done, what was the purpose of the activity so that when we look back, we can easily identify. All right. And, and then there's the final way that we can do it, and that is through our automations. So, so like I mentioned before, we're able to create our drip campaigns. So for example, we might have a pipeline that or, or a pipeline that looks like this where we have multiple different um, I guess levels of the sale. So maybe the first level is booking the meeting, second level is running the sales presentation, third levels signing them up or second level signing them up. Third level is delivering and just doing that after sales care. And then what we're able to have is we're able to have a do not call this like they're a lost lead, like don't ever contact them again. They don't want to be contacted. And then we're able to have a not interested trip campaign. And what we can do in here is we can, we can create our six to 12 months of emails if we want it. So we can do our first drip email and then we can we can segment it up and have weights until until their their next email comes and their next email. So we could do like 20 day waits, 30 day waits where an email sent and then 30 days the next email sent. <clears throat> and what we're able to do with this is we're able to curate that that sort of drip campaign so that we're we're picking up or maybe they weren't ready to move now but six months down the track they've found out a bit more information about the product or the service or they've found out a bit more about their pain points and they're not wanting to live in those pain points anymore so what we're able to do with this drip campaign is we're able to you know, throw out some pain points. Hey, here's something that people are suffering through. Here's something that people are benefiting from, you know, and we go on. And what we're able to do is we're able to curate an effective response to where we can, while staying in high rapport 
we can we can you know stay in contact with them so that we're not just sending out you know an email a week when they've said not really interested just saying hey here's why people buy 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 you know what i mean what we want to do is we want to give them drips of information that appetize them so that they get a little bit and they sit there and they think and they wonder well if if that worked how much would that get me you know if it worked this much how much would it get me so what we're able to do in our drip campaign is with those leads that weren't ready to move straight away we're able to then incentivize them through more information or change their opinion through providing them valuable information that's actionable that they can utilize to get small benefits and then what will happen is if it's valuable information and if it is actionable and if it does get results, well, then they're going to start consuming that information. Then they'll come back on and they might want to consume more of your information through social media, through YouTube, through whatever whatever medium you use. Um, it might even be through informational products, like you might have a guide to buying your first home. You might have a guide to running a business you know, whatever it may be, a guide to pain relief or pain um, minimization or pain recovery or whatever it may be. So the goal is with these different styles of SMS and email marketing is we just want to stay in contact with them. How do we stay toma, top of mind? So, but how do we also segment up our marketing so that we can have generalized marketing that's general gives our value 80 percent of the people it's going to resonate with and how do we have highly segmented and highly targeted marketing so that we're able to increase those not so much conversion but the open rates and things like that the click-through rates and then what we're looking to do is we're looking to increase our responses because if we can get responses back then your email marketing it's free money because you've already gone out there you've already gotten that lead you've got that contact information for you to contact them through email costs nothing basically it only costs your you know your web provider cost or something like that so and then when we get into drip campaigns, we're able to recapture lost leads. Um, so there are, there are a couple of ways that, that we're able to utilize email marketing and, and SMS marketing and the technology and the strategies that really get us to where we want to be. And the best part is, is we're able to automate these processes, create templates, all of that, and what we can do is we can spend one day creating everything and then we've got everything for six months. So it looks like we're a high performer. It looks like we're doing more than anyone could ever imagine. But we've actually planned out, we've done it structured and we've done our time minimization strategy to really, really get our effectivity down. So what we're able to do we jump back in, we can create email templates, we can create text message templates. So maybe you have, you know, you're on the phone to a client and they come up with an objection, they want some more information and you've got out a templated SMS response that, you know, you send the next day and you've noticed that, hey, you know, if I send this the next day, it actually gets me 10% of those lost leads come back and say, yeah, I would like to know a bit more or I would like to get back in contact or I would like to sit down for a meeting or whatever it may be. Um, what we're able to do as well is while we're doing our prospecting, we can utilise text and call. So we can, we can blast out, let's say we're doing 50 calls today, we can blast out 50 text messages like, hey, I'm, I'm giving you a call. Here's what the call is going to be around. You know, do you want to know more? Text back yes. And basically, you know, when we're creating that offer, when we're creating that that message, when we when we fine tune it and we get right down to the nitty gritty and we get it operating at a high uh, performance level or a high effectiveness. We're able to then implement these strategies into multi-level strategies that really pick up a lot of small leads. So out of our 50 texts, we might get five to 10 back. 
out of those five to 10, we might pick up three to four new clients. Now, we could have picked them up through doing all the 50 calls, but when they've texted back, we've called them straight away. So it looks highly, highly professional, highly effective because we're able to, one, utilize our time better and, and spend more time with the people that are our buyers. And that's what email and text marketing is all about, is it's about how do we get them to self-identify that they want our product or that they want to talk to us or how do we create a bit of a conversation so that when we're doing our calls, we can say, hey, John, did you get my text? This is what we're doing today. This is the reason for the call. And this is why I believe this would work well for your business. And what do you think on the whole process? We're able to come with a reason for why we're calling. So we're not just calling to say, hey, John, do you want to buy our product? It's like, hey, John, this is what we do for small business. Do you, like, is this something that benefits you? Is this something... You know, so we want to have reasons for calls, but we also want to have items to relate back to. So when we get into high level sales, we want to we want to really have strategic, um, strategically designed um, conversations or connections in terms of like we don't just want to talk. We want to talk with a purpose. We want to talk with a direction with a goal in mind, we want to have goal oriented talking um, that we know statistically will have, you know, a 20% effectiveness or a 30% effectiveness. And then what we're able to do is the more we do it, we're able to really, really nail down on what are we doing good? Where are we going bad? And how do we improve? And that's how we can really get that efficiency going to where you know, we're maximizing our effectiveness on the phones. We're maximizing our effectiveness booking meetings. We're maximizing our effectiveness, you know, database mining. We're maximizing our effectiveness in the sales process, everything like that. What we're also able to do is if reviews and feedbacks is an important thing for you, we're able to send out, like, for example, if we jump over into the sites, we can do up a survey. So we could, we could build a survey that we text out that's a simple five-word five survey and it's just or a five, you know, a five-sentence survey where it's like, hey, do did you like the service? What did you think about the salesperson? Were they pushy? This and that. And we're able to capture core data. Um, you know, would you refer a friend? Do you think this product has value? Whatever it may be. And we're able to get that data. So we can utilize text and email marketing to one, capture more data, capture more leads, to maximize on our conversions, to maximize on our effectiveness, all right? So these are some pretty exciting aspects and that, that's one of my goals is to help you understand and better understand this technology so that you can utilize it to maximize your effectiveness because effectiveness isn't, doing the most work for the most outcome. It's how do I do the, the least amount of work or the, the lowest cost work to get the maximum results that I can. And then what we're able to do once we've got that minimum effectiveness is then we're all right. Well, if we increase 10%, what, what is the compound result? You know, is it a 10% gain? Is it a 20% gain? Is it a 100% gain? Who knows? Like that's what we're looking to understand so that we can really fine tune when are my most effective times for calling? When are my most effective times for sales presentations? How do I most best utilize the leads I get? And how do I lower my drop through drop off rate? There, there are some of the goals, because if we can do that, the compounding effect in the sales is multiplied by magnitude. And then if we can do that with multiple salespeople or multiple teams or this or that, we're really able to take that business and we're able to then, you know, two, three, four, five, ten exit. Because if we can get 10 people doing twice as much as they do now or being twice as effective as they are now, we've just 10x that business. You're doing 10 times the amount of revenue. Do you understand? Like the value of high performing teams and nimble teams is that it requires less to get more. 
and that's one of my passions in sales and marketing is how do we maximize our effectiveness or how do we maximize our performance in sales or in marketing to maximize the returns that we get all right well this covers everything to do with the email marketing and the sms marketing through my new admin and one of the great things is is the better you get with this the better you look to your consumers the better you look to your competitors and the, and the more work that you you put in the multiplier that you get out and that's the exciting thing is especially with online businesses is you can sell to a thousand people you can sell to 200 people you can sell to a hundred thousand people the technology allows you to split your conversation into tens of thousands of conversations but it is a lot of work to get there so that that is the the downside is it does take a lot of work to get there and that's why utilizing software that allows you to maximize your own performance in your business and then multiply your employees' performance or your sales team's performance, it just goes gangbusters. So that's that's my goal in Alpha Consulting is to show you and inspire you to want to be the best you can be in your industry, in your business. You know, you want to be the leader. That's what I want. All right. Well, that's everything from me. So have a great day.